Pelican Catch 100 kayak review. Hey, the top five pros and cons, things I like about it, things I don't like about it after about six months of use. Hey, my name is Rodney from Rodney Outdoors. Hey, if you're into kayak fishing, you know, getting out of the house, hey, that's what this channel's all about. So go ahead and think about hitting that subscribe button. If you wanna know what's good and bad about this thing, you know, if you're looking to maybe pick one of these up, hey, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. All right, pro number one is the seat. The seat in the Pelican Catch 100 is very comfortable. I've sat in the thing for up to four hours out there fishing, and I definitely had no problems out of it. It's one of my um, favorite things about the kayak. So if you're looking for a kayak with a good seat, the Pelican Catch 100, it has it. Con number one, stability when standing. Even though the kayak is 34 inches wide and it is very stable when sitting, in the high or the low position, I don't have a problem. I have stood up in it a couple times, but to me, a grown man is not gonna be able to stand up and fish in this thing. You know, maybe if you weigh 100 pounds or 110 pounds and you're really small, maybe you'll be able to do it, but a, a 200 pound man, 180, 250, 300, whatever you are, it's not gonna happen. Pro number two, it's lightweight and easy to handle easy to transport at only about 54 pounds is one of the lightest kayaks on the market you know that has the capabilities that this kayak has so if you have any kind of problem lifting heavy stuff you have back problems knee problems you know i have all that hey you're gonna want a light kayak to be able to move around easily hey this might be the kayak for you con number two the rear rod holders to me they're hard to get to you put a pole back there you can barely get to it that's why i added the pvc you know to make it a little easier for myself to get to my fishing poles because when you're trying to turn around in that kayak you know hey the thing is not the most stable in the world so if you lean a little too far to the left or the right and you're trying to grab those poles hey you're liable to fall out of this thing flip it over whatever the case may be i just don't like the location of it it just kind of is awkward to turn around and try to grab your poles or try to grab them you know underneath behind you like this it just doesn't make much sense to me I think you could have been in a better position, you know, maybe a better design, whatever the case may be. It's just not the greatest. Pro number three, it gets you on the water and off the bank at a pretty reasonable price. I mean, this kayak is leased for $699 and I was able to get this thing for $391 from Overton's online and get it delivered for free, you know, through them with a discount code. So this is what you need to be looking for if you're looking for this kayak. I wouldn't pay $6.99 for it. I try to pay another $100 or $200 and get an upgraded kayak. You know, there's a lot of different things out there in the market. But if you can get this thing at a discount, $100, $200 off, I would definitely highly recommend it. I was able to get mine for $3.91. And for the things you get with this kayak, I don't think that could be beat. Con number three, the hatch on it is really small and pretty much, to me, unusable for anything of any size. If you try to put maybe like a small paddle in there, just in case you lose your main paddle, unless it folds down to maybe 12 inches, you're not gonna be able to get that thing in there. You know, so if you got one that's two foot long, it's the angle on it's just bad. You're not gonna be able to get it in there. You may be able to get some small shirts and stuff in there and a small dry bag, but to me, that's pretty much it. I mean, the hatch, very tiny, as you can see, you know, it just doesn't make much sense. It could have been a little larger. That's my only real gripe with it. It needs to be a little bit bigger so you can actually get into the thing. Pro number four, we already kind of talked about, and that's the price. You can get the price a lot lower with a discount than a lot of kayaks. So if you can get it for that price with a discount, 391, you know, 491, you know, about that $500 mark, hey, it's a pretty good kayak for that because a lot of the cheap junk kayaks are $300, $400 and they're pure trash. Con number four. The footrest can be uncomfortable, at least the sides, kind of where the track part is, depending on what kind of footwear you're wearing. You know, if you're wearing something like sandals or something like that, it's gonna be very uncomfortable with your little foot laying on the side. If you're wearing tennis shoes, it's not as bad. And that's one of my only gripes with that. I wish there was some kind of cushion, maybe on the top and the bottom of the track. So, you know, not laying your foot on the hard plastic when your feet are kind of laying out to the side. That's just something, you know, I just don't like. And I just think people need to know about that before they go pick this kayak up. Pro number five, it has good capacity for how lightweight this kayak is. The capacity for this kayak is about 350 pounds. So me and all my gear, I'm about 215 pounds. And then all my gear I throw in there, I haven't had any problems at all. A lot of the kayaks might have like a 220 pound capacity or 250. You know, that's just not enough for a grown man. A lot of times if you're in that 200 pound, 200 plus range, and you put some gear on there or cool or whatever the case may be, it's just not gonna be enough. 
350 to me should be the minimum you're looking for for capacity and that's got to be a real capacity you need to look at reviews and make sure people are actually using it like that and they actually weigh putting a lot of weight in there and make sure it actually works at that weight con number five the gear tracks on this thing to me are too far forward and it's kind of like just made by the design they got a little spot on the kayak to hold your paddle and to me that's where the track should be about right where that is because most of the time the paddle you leave it in your lap if you're paddling a kayak you know especially when you're fishing because you, you throw your pole a couple times you throw your line out you know you move you paddle a little bit you want the paddle right there available where you can use it and those gear tracks need to be a little closer to the paddler in my opinion they're a little too far forward and it's hard to reach if you put like a pole holder on or something like that it's just hard to get to in my opinion unless you have extremely long arms or something you know, maybe if you're like six, seven, you won't have a problem. But normal sized people, you know, six foot, five and a half foot, you know, six foot one, you know, you might have a problem actually reaching this thing. Boom, and there it is, my top five pros and cons. Hey, I hope this helped you guys out. You know, as you can see from some of the B-roll and some of my, my cons and some of my pros, I would definitely still recommend this kayak at a budget price if you can get it for a discount or you find it used or something like that go to facebook marketplace craigslist whatever the case may be i highly recommend it if you just want to be able to sit down and fish if you're wanting to stand and fish you're gonna have to you know bump up your price a little bit save up a little more money whatever the case may be spend a little more and go get you a higher end kayak so let me know down in the comments below why you were actually looking at the pelican catch 100 the things you think you would like about it or if you already have one the things you dislike hey and if you like this kind of video go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button and i'll see you on the next one